So today we're going to make keto chow ice cream. Chocolate toffee. And we have done this before. There's a couple of different ways that you can make keto chow ice cream. The first way is by having some keto chow made ready to go in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that and pour it into an ice cream maker. Either the kind that we have, which is a compressor, a compressor one, where you just turn on the machine, it gets cold, it makes a batch, and then as soon as you're done with that, you can make another batch. And it's delicious. Or yes. you can also get the kind where you just get that bowl that goes into your freezer, and then uh, once it's frozen, you hook it up to the machine, but you can only make usually one batch every 24 hours. Which usually way. means that Rachel gets some, <laughs> and poor Joe just gets a bite. Now, the other way that you can make it is with a blender, and we've done it before. I'm going to leave a link for that video right up here. The difference between that one and today's is that video used heavy cream, mm -hmm. and today we're going to use butter. And I think we've got the best of both worlds because we're keeping the carb content low, but we're still going to have a creamy ice cream. Yeah. So one of the reasons that I would prefer to use butter is, like Rachel said, the carbs are low. I mean, now again, heavy cream, you're looking at for four ounces of a uh, heavy cream you're looking at about three carbs but for me my body just doesn't do well when i drink four ounces of heavy cream in a sitting well and i like this method that we're using with the blender today because as fast as making the ice cream in the ice cream maker is this is even faster yeah and i'm trying to get my frozen keto chow into my plate or bowl and into my bathtub for bathtub keto chow as quickly as possible. Yeah. So let's get into it. So here's what you're going to need. Number one, you're going to need a blender. And unfortunately, you're going to need a pretty decent blender. Um, we have a Vitamix. You can also use, I know, the Ninja ones. Any mm -hmm. good high-speed blender. What you really need is a tamper. And yes. a lot of the better ones do have a tamper where you can run the machine and tamp down to get everything to mix up. Now the Vitamix always sounds terrible, right? right? It's always like a really scary loud noise, but I mean this thing, I feel like you could throw an airplane or cans down there and it'd chop it up. Okay, so here's the rest of the stuff that you're gonna need. You're gonna obviously need keto chat. And I recommend chocolate toffee flavor. So now these are containers. We just get our bags. We immediately pour them into these containers. We get these containers at Walmart. Mm -hmm. um, I'll leave a link for them down below, uh, but just go to any Walmart and get them. They're the Better Homes and Gardens one. This is the 11 and a half cup one, and it perfectly fits a bag of Keto Chow plus like one or two scoops from the old bag. So right. I think it's perfect, and I can stack them on top. I can get two on top of each other in our cabinet. But measure your pantry because everybody's got like different shelves. Right. Then we're going to need butter and we're going to use four ounces of butter, which is 400 calories. I'm a happy girl. Um, the butter is going to kind of be up to you, but you're going to melt it. And what you want to do is if we're going to use four ounces of butter, you need to have a total of a cup. So the rest of it is going to be some type of almond milk, or you can even use water. Mm -hmm. I just prefer almond milk. We actually use this Calpia Farms. It's this so is the good. toasted coconut. Yeah. It's a coconut almond milk blend, and the macros on this are in an eight ounce serving, 45 calories, four grams of fat, one total carbohydrate with one gram of dietary fiber, and uh, one gram of protein. So if you drink eight ounces of it, it's only 45 calories, it's zero net carbs, one total carb, but it's also four grams of fat, so you're getting yourself a little bit more fat. Don't you like that there is a normal size glass available in this nutrition? Yes. Right? I'm going to drink eight ounces of something. I'm not going to drink a fourth of a fourth of a fourth of something. Right. So what you're going to do is you are just you want a total of one cup at eight ounces. So four ounces of butter, four ounces of the almond milk, six ounces of the almond milk, two ounces of butter, whatever combination you want. This is how we like to do it. I find it gives you a nice, creamy ice cream. Now, here's the important step, and I've already done this. We're going to put this to the side. Oh, okay. We're going to go to our microwave, and we're going to melt our butter. Okay? It's and then melted. We're, we're going to melt the butter. We're going to put it into our Vitamix. Now, here's the next thing. 
And actually what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my, I have heated almond milk. Thank you. I normally would just melt the butter and then add almond milk and then go reheat. But for the sake of the video, we did two separate glasses. But I don't want to lose but any butter. I don't want to lose that butter. So I'm just going to pour this in here. And this has also been heated. You need to get this to the same temperature as your melted butter. If you put cold almond milk in here, the butter is immediately going to start to uh, coagulate and uh, you're gonna have chunky butter. Chunky so butter. This way it's all nice and melted and warm. Now we're gonna put one scoop of keto chow or one serving if you have the individual packets. Now you can measure now, this. Oh, Oop. and it just went everywhere. I'm gonna have the tastiest arm. Okay, yeah, the best way to do this is to obviously weigh it out. I don't weigh it out, I just use a scoop. Okay, now that we've got that done, I'm gonna get the powder off my hand. By the way, if you spill this powder on your counter, make sure you dry it with a dry cloth when you clean it up first. Yes. If you put a wet cloth, What's gonna happen is the xanthan gum gets really sticky. You're gonna think it's sugar, but it's actually the xanthan gum. Right. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we are, this is a very, very important step. If you were to put your ice in here, you're going to get chunky butter. Right. What you wanna do is you want to blend the butter and the almond milk with the keto chow because that's going to emulsify the fats because of the acacia gum that's in the keto chow. So we're just gonna turn this on low and it's gonna become like a thick pudding. Which is kind of amazing. Looking. And that's all it is. We're done. Just a few seconds, just enough to emulsify that fat. Now, I could eat that. We're gonna take a two cup measure and we're going to fill it up with ice. It was heaping. Okay, it's a heaping cup. I also have a couple of extra cubes over here if I find it, I don't need it. Once you do this once or twice, you'll know exactly how much ice you need. Yeah. It comes down to an ice ratio to the liquid ratio. So you just kind of get the hang of it. I'd rather you start off with just a little bit less. If it's a little bit too runny, you can put another cube in there. If it's too thick and you start still having cubes in there, you can just use the tamper, maybe add just a little bit more almond milk. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take off this top piece here. Make sure the lid is on. Yes. We're going to start it on low and then we're going to quickly move it up to high and we're going to use the tamper to turn this into ice cream. But it's going to get loud. And it only takes like 30 seconds to a minute. See, it's just bouncing around. this keto chow ice cream in a library. Yeah. Librarians would be very ticked off at the noise level. So you saw what I did was I just took, that's on high speed, I just take the tamper and I keep pressing down and you see the ice cubes start getting to the middle more, middle more, middle more, and then all of a sudden they grab. And look how and then pillowy this That's what is. you have. Now, I mean, there's a little bit of liquid in there, but just to give you an idea, if you've ever seen a Vitamix commercial, right. look at that. That is ice cream. Serious. It's not coming out except for the couple of little liquid drops on the top. Literally two drops. And we're gonna move this off to the side. I wish I could still get these. I got this on QVC once, but this is the best spatula for a blender. Here's the best part about keto chow ice cream. Look at it, it's an entire blender container. This is one serving. You don't have any spoons. I'm gonna get me one. Well, go get some spoons because we need a taste test. You are giving up some of your dinner. Dang it! Now, do not. So, this is a serving. Throw this out. Put your coffee down in there, re blends it. Yeah, so, or You're welcome. if you don't drink coffee, that's fine. Take like four ounces of almond milk oh, yeah. or water, put it in there just a little bit. Turn that thing on and you can finish up the little bit that's still left in there. But my advice would be start drinking coffee. Now here's the thing. This is the same exact amount of keto chow that you would have 
if you got a blender bottle. And I can throw down. But look at that. A shake that's a keto chow, like in no time flat. Right. Right. You ready? Let's taste this. It's ice cream. Now, that is ice cream. Now, normally, I think that it tastes very flavorful to wait on drinking your shake. Mm hmm But the ice cream? Because you're using... Good to go. Warm butter. And the key is the warm milk. And that's why usually if you compare this method to the method where we're doing heavy cream, you usually need a couple of more ice cubes because you're going to put those cold ice cubes into the warm mixture. So you usually need like two or three more ice cubes. But that buttery taste is just really coming through. So now just to give you an idea, and obviously this is going to change completely based on what you use in it, but this bowl right here, I'm not, I don't remember the exact amount, chocolate toffee, all of the keto chows are about 120 calories. And they're in chronometer. And they're all in chronometer. 120 calories for the chocolate toffee, four tablespoons of butter, that makes it 520 calories for that. And then you've got 22 calories in here. So you're at about 550 calories, but that's your meal. It's delicious though. So if you're doing three keto chows, that would be 1,650 calories. Again, you can cut it down to three tablespoons, two tablespoons. I do six or seven tablespoons. Completely up to you. I feel like you've really hit full adulting when you can say, I had ice cream for dinner because I'm an adult and I can pick what I want for dinner. Well, that is our video for today. If you are interested in some Keto Chow, there is a link down below in the description. Uh, a little heads up, that link is an affiliate link. So if you use it, it does help our channel a little bit. We get a small percentage. There's also a coupon code, which is 2 Crazy Ketos, and that coupon code is good one time for 10% off. Keto Chow also every week on Monday, they announce a flavor of the week. You're just going to let me keep talking while you eat, aren't you? Really enjoying this. <laughs> they have a flavor of the week where they take one flavor and they make it 10% off. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes they even do a special where it's 20% off. They also do other deals where you get, um, if you buy four or more bags, and it could be like four different flavors, that's how we do it. You right. get an additional 5% off on top of the sale mm -hmm. and you get free shipping. So we, and we also really like their electrolyte drops. Yes, they're the best, I think. So that's our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Also, let us know down below what's your favorite flavor keto chat. My mouth is frozen. Until next time. Bye. bye.